Damien in Los Angeles, California. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm going to have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses when I cut the Zeiss. High Index 167 Photo Fusion Blue with DuraVision Blue Protect Anti Glare for your Oakley 8149, the Pitchman R Carbon, size 50, color 03, the Polish Clear. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as Oakley sends it to me. Now, let me back up and say, I'm going to back up and say it, I am an authorized Oakley dealer. I do not have, I barely have any on the website. I know I've been a slacker, I've been too busy making glasses, but if there's an Oakley frame that you want, go to the contact me page of the website. Let me know which model number, size, and color, and I will check on the price and availability. If you really want to be nice, Upload a picture of your prescription, tell me your PD and what lens options you want, such as the Photofusion Blue with Zeiss DuraVision Blue Protect. I get you an exact price and time frame of how long it'll take me to ship. So inside your hard shell Oakley case is a cute little sleeping bag. No, it's a cleaning cloth that doubles as a cleaning or as a carrying bag. You can carry this around if you don't want to carry the hard case with you. Now inside of this is a little egg and inside that egg is a smaller egg no this is the frame it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple that protects the temples from rubbing together during shipping and i'm going to put that on there when i ship to you this is will my camera pick it up i doubt it but i'm going to try anyway again the oakley 8149 which is the pitchman r carbon size 50 color 03 the polish clear and again the pitchman r carbon which has the crystal plastic front with the carbon fiber temples really strong really lightweight no screws in this frame it has a ball joint i had an orthopedic surgeon tell me that's the same way they're doing knee or hip replacements and that's how they do my brain replacement just put another circle in there with nothing in the middle that's all my brain needs so i'm gonna pop out the original demo lenses one of which says Oakley, and of course you're going to receive all the manufacturer's original packaging. Take your frame, put it in the tracing element of my blocker. I've got to assign a number to it. You are Secret Agent 2902. So the years from now, should you ever want new lenses for this frame, I can pull everything up and I'll know all the dimensions to cut it to and mail it right to you and you'll see how to pop them in. I'm going to hit the start button, a little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipts have my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for your purchase. Now, you will get the full reimbursement from your health savings account flex dollars. I am out of network when it comes to insurances, so you will get your out of network reimbursement when you submit the itemized receipt that I can provide to you upon request. Now, that is the shape that I'll be cutting. I need to enter your pupillary distance, which is 31 for the right eye. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap this minus button until we get to 31. I want to raise the optical center height up to, we're going to go two above and do it at 24. So, your right lens, I assume this is it because it says all right. Isn't that right? So, your right eye is minus 6, minus 50 at 125, minus 6, minus 50 at 125. Put the axis wheel on 125. Let me make sure everything is on zero zero put the power drum on minus six take the lens out of the protective packet put the lens in rotate until the spherical component comes into view first and finding the center of the lens got to do that that is the top of the lens we're good to go there check your astigmatism correction that is minus six minus 50 why you gotta say fitty? It's my George Kennedy line from Cool Hand Luke. Had yeah, that contest, he ate the 50 hard boiled eggs. <laughs> and for the record, I've eaten 13 in one dinner. I'm not proud of it. And it wasn't even a contest. I was just hungry. <laughs> there was a whole bunch of hard boiled eggs on a salad bar. 
and uh, I didn't want pretty much anything else that was on the salad bar. You know, I heard there was going to be a salad bar. I'm like, a bar? Is there going to be women there? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you guys didn't need to know any of that. All right, so the other nice thing about Zeiss, they document everything. So this is your right lens. Your prescription is minus 6, minus 50 at 125. The coating is DuraVision Blue Protect. This is the 167. Oops, you know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I was not careful. I found some longer post-it notes. All right, put that back on there. Cut this in the middle. You guys are watching what I'm doing. Hey, look, look over there. You see that sign over there? Look over there. And then what's that over there? Keep looking up there. Okay, so they have your name on the packet. So I just want to make sure that was covered up. So, all right, I wrote that on there. Don't rewind. Everyone give this guy some privacy. All right, so I've done that one for the right eye. Let's do the same thing now for the left. Minus 6, minus 50 is 75. Minus 6, minus 50 is 75. I don't know why they didn't put the DuraVision. Well, they have the blue protect, but they don't have the Photo Fusion blue on this packet. I'm going to chalk it up to COVID. Turn the axis wheel to 75. And still on minus 6. Put the lens in. Where is There we go. There's the center of the lens. Come here, little center, center. You know you want to be a good center. Come here, center. Sorry, I just got a new pet at home. All right, check the stigmatism correction. Minus 650, we're good to go. Put three dots on those lenses. Let me darken those so you can play along at home. One, two, seven. I masked wrong again. Put an L on here. If you guys missed any of that, well, you just have to hit rewind. Okay, so I'm going to write on here minus 6, minus 50. That's 75 DuraVision Blue Protect. It says F67. It is the 167 high index. And again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. You can also tell the, well, I can tell the refractive index by the sound. This is what high index sounds like. It's a little flatter sound than a polycarbonate lens. This is higher pitched, high index, polycarb. All right, you're going to be tested on that later. So, this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. I'm out of stickers. I will come down here to my sticker stash. You know, is it taunting it, the, the live ones, before they've gone to the slaughterhouse that I put their dead used up carcass over there. <laughs> Those of you at home may be asking, how much coffee does this guy drink every day? All right, so pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. I'm going to line up this. That silver button is a magnet. I'm going to line it up with the magnet here in the arm so it stays. Stay. Be a good sticker. Be a good Jenny from the block. All right, so I'm going to Line everything up, those three dots, the blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that in inset. And there's something on here that's dirty. It's throwing me off. It's too close to this other dot. And as of my last video, I started singing. Dun 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 dun. Dot 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 dot. Dun 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 dun. Sing it with me. Sing it out loud. Let them hear you outside. I'm going to hit that button. The arm's going to come down place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right. We're going to line that up. Do, what's your PD? 32 for the left eye. So the computer has mirrored what was entered for the right. Now I'm going to tap the plus button twice because it's going to go up in half millimeter increments to 32. Get everything lined up. Same optical center height of 24. Get everything lined up perfectly. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down place the block onto the left lens. Now this is the tracer, this is the blocker, this is the edger. This costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy your own, put it on your kitchen counter next to your coffee pot, and then you can cut your own lenses at home. And you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the, and the belly full of caffeine to cut them for you. Look, I just cut a silhouette lens. You can see the drill holes in there. But 
the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material this wheel in the center is going to put the v-shaped bevel on the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame i'm going to wake up the computer bye bye silhouette hello oakley lens now these are high index i had to change the material that i normally use i'm not going to polish the edge of the lens I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. Now, place the magnet and press that on there firmly. Place the magnet. It's going to do a job a second time as it attaches itself to another magnet there in the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Hit the green start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame on the first go around. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the lens. The old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once is measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Which will be interesting to see if you have any with your higher than average prescription, only because it's twice as strong. But here's something you normally don't see, water is spraying onto the lens. That's because high index lenses cut wet, meaning that water sprays on them for the duration of the cutting cycle. Woo! They also have sulfur in the lens. And this thing stinks like rotten eggs. Unless you like the way sulfur smells, then you'll like this. But your lenses are made out of high index 167 material. It has the photo fusion blue, so these will turn blue when you go outside. It also has 30 to 40 percent of the blue light protection built in. You have an additional layer, front and back surface layer of Zeiss DuraVision Blue Protect. So you have the most amount of blue protection you can have in a lens. It also has 100 percent UVA and UVB protection. We know that the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin there in Los Angeles, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotion screens and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. Now, your lens is going down onto the bevel wheel. Just a moment ago, your lens was flat. Why is this here? Because I was wearing the same frame, with, except I have progressive lenses. I have the Zeiss Photo Fusion Blue with the DuraVision Blue Protect. So Damien, you and I can be twins, although you'll be the more handsome twin. But that's what I was wearing. But now I'm wearing, I'm only going to wear my frames that I designed. Having said that, I'll probably wear something like this eventually. But, so I may have a contest to see if anybody wants this frame. Just in case I don't wear it anymore. I will show you my frame. Well, actually, now's a good time. So, before this, I used to wear the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer all the time. So I was so influenced by this frame, I decided to make one very similar. I did not put the shield on there. And this is Christian eyewear. You can get it with gold crosses or silver crosses. This model number is the Philippians 413, which is I can do all things through Christ. The other thing I did, the Ray-Ban comes with a three barrel hinge. I put a super heavy duty seven barrel hinge on there because I wanted you to be able to run over these with a tank and nothing happened to them. So I'm going to put mine back on. I woke up one day and realized I'm just a cover band. I've been putting lenses in other people's songs. And I wanted to write my own song. So that's what I did. Yes, I was influenced by another great songwriter. I believe you know this songwriter is the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfarer size 52. So if anyone is out there has ever worn this frame, you can go into any sunglass hut, try it on. And if you like, not this one, why am I pointing at this one? When you try it on and you'll see how it fits the look, the weight, then you can buy from ChristianEyewear.com, the Philippians 413, and you'll know exactly how it fits. So speaking of fitting, let's see if this fits first time around. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner, press down the nose, not even close to fitting. So I'm going to take this down a little bit, place this back in, hit the retouch button. The door closes, the clamp shuts. Now it's not going to drop down onto the cutting wheel this time. It's going to drop down onto the bevel wheel. And it's going to take a tenth of a millimeter off going all the way around the circumference of the lens until I can pop the lens in there easily. 
Now normally I never use heat, but you may see me doing that because normally the polycarbonate lenses which are unbreakable, the high index, so polycarbonate is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. High index is 30% thinner than polycarbonate. Now with the pros come the cons. It's thinner, it's a harder material, but it can flake. So I may heat up this lens. You trying to get into this? You got something to say? I may heat up the frame just so the lens pops in there. I don't want to force it in too tight or cut it too loose. So if it does not easily pop in now, I will use a little bit of heat. It's about the only time you'll see me use it. Although in the winter time, I will warm my hands on it when I come in in the morning. Damien from Los Angeles is like, what do you mean your hands are cold in the morning? <laughs> what does that mean? It means it gets cold everywhere that's not Los Angeles in the winter time. All right, so I'm going to dry everything off. Let's see if it fits first time around. Tuck it in at the outside corner, push down the nose. Yeah, now it snaps in there good. We good to go. Flip that over to L. Place the magnet into the Charles, the Chucky baby, the Chuckarama, the Chuck. Look at that. Look at that. That hydrophobe. Hey, you want to see something? Dun 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 dun. Let's come back here. This is the water that cycles up through that. This is the trap your lens fell back in there. So We'll dry everything off again. You did not do your job. Let's grab another one. Here, we've already got the sticker on this one. Let's come back down here to the lensometer. It's been the axis wheel to 75 when I was sitting there playing around with it on the counter. Are you still on 75? 75 minus 6 minus 6. This is something you haven't seen in a video before. So now, I've got to wake this side up again. The left, although I guess I don't have to mark it left since the right's already cut. Where's my stylus? So, this button, the red one, pulls up the shape that I was just working on. Of course, it starts with the right lens, but I'm going to flip that over to the left lens. Again, pull the sticker away. The DoorVision Blue Protect is, is an actually good example of how slick this lens is. So that's how dust, water, if any, you're getting rain on here. Again, Damien from Los Angeles. What is rain? What <laughs> if any moisture? Yeah, the Lakers win again and someone's, you know, shaking champagne up and throwing it around or you're in the club. The water will bead right off of your lens. It will not pull on your lens. So... Come back down here. Press that sticker on there firmly this time. No more playing around with it, letting it rattle on the thing. And real quickly now, I'm going to hit the start button. The door closes, the clamp shuts. It's going to be traced again by the two wide styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame on the first go around. And you can see it's tracing the shape of the left side. Ding! Turn the page. And then again, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Look at that. You barely have any. And the cool thing is, because it's a crystal color frame, it's almost the same color as your lens. Nobody's going to see that. So, I bet I can take this, but look at that. That's how slick these surfaces are. With this really good adhesive sticker, if it wasn't, would it do that? Throw that back in there. Come back to the lensometer, grab my paperwork, put it in over the 125, put it in over that black dot, read the power, and I'm getting minus 6. That's because minus 6, minus 50, man, I think stinks. Um, the, the unit of measurement in the optical world is called a diopter, spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R, starting at z zero and going up in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1. You are on the 24th rung of a ladder. You need six full diopters to see far away. You are very nearsighted. With your glasses off, you can see the, the fingerprint on an ant. But 
once you move the ant this far it becomes blurry so that's why there's a minus sign your lenses will minify down to the correct size now once it's the correct size you have two steps of astigmatism correction of which I will measure that is also known as the fine two knob and we're now at 650 exactly halfway between six and seven now the average prescription goes to about a minus two to three so you're at twice that now you have less than average astigmatism it's usually around one is the average so now this frame the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R carbon sells for $220 no charge for your single vision polycarbonate lenses you got the 167 high index which adds 5998 the photo fusion blue the transitions blue adds 99.99 and the DuraVision blue protect also 99.99 for a total of 479.96 tax free the reason why I point out tax free is that a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax now I am in North Carolina North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device there is no tax collected on medical devices and that's how I'm able to remain tax free now my state sales tax if I did collect it is 7.5 percent so 479.96 times 7.5 percent if you were to buy this from anyone else on the internet they would charge you 35.99 essentially another 36 dollars of tax you get to keep that Damien every time you buy glasses from me so I'm gonna dry everything off we're gonna see if it fits first time around tuck it in at the outside corners push down with my thumbs and it snaps right in I could feel that thing move when I did that use my hand approved drying use my back of the arm approved drying method throw that back in there add to my sticker collection come down here to the lensometer spin the axis wheel to 75 which corresponds to the stigmatism of your left eye put that in there read the power minus six exactly halfway between five and seven that's where you're going to find six half adopter of astigmatism correction minus 650 so that is cut perfectly the last steps of look at i got ink on me inky 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 okay being caught black thumb that's better than being caught red-handed so your pd 31 plus 32 is 63 optical center height of 24 turn the card around place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens when we hold it up to the left lens we're getting 63 millimeters so that is cut perfectly now not to the bottom of the lens but to the middle of the plastic of the deepest part of the frame we're getting 24 millimeters so that is cut perfectly 24 millimeters now in just a moment I'm going to show you what these look like activated but I'm gonna get these in standard alignment but I'll show you what it looks like in mine now this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses I mentioned that Damien when you get these in the mail there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other that's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other and I'm part of that 80% but because of that statistic 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but I'm gonna get them in standard alignment first also known as the three-point stance the three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three I set them on the counter and press down there is no wobble now when I say wobble I'm part of that 80% when I take mine off and press down they wobble on the counter but they sit level on me again I'm wearing the Christian eyewear Philippians 413 and the 52 eye size I am working on getting a 55 and 58 eye size here but that'll be about another three months so early November press down there is no wobble close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do and so you saw what mine looked like when I took them out but by the way Damien I send out a self request in every package I would love to have two pictures one with you indoors with these clear and then one with you outdoors with these turning blue like mine did I also send out cleaning instructions not only for your frame and lenses but also for your the premium microfiber cloth that I provide your Oakley cleaning cloth your Zeiss cleaning cloth and instructions on how to care for your case so that too will last you for years no other seller does it on the internet I have been told by repeat customers who used to purchase from someone else and now they only purchase from me 
Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15 to return back to virtually clear. Now, this is important. Damien and everyone else listening, pay attention. All photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks or exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. Now, they're also temperature sensitive, meaning that they will get darker when it's 85 degrees and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. Now, having said that, there is the Photofusion Extra Gray. It's only available in the gray, but those do get darker in hotter weather. They're designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside. Now, isn't that an awesome blue? Now, Zeiss invented the photochromic lens. They, in fact, they even invented anti-glare. After their seven-year patent wore off, ran out, they sold the technology to other labs such as Essilor. Essilor branded it as Transitions. They branded their anti-glare as Crizol, even though Zeiss invented it. Now, Zeiss had the Generation 8 technology a year before Transitions because they're always the industry leader. I know I was an Essilor man for years. I still got the Essilor lab equipment, but this is the reason I switched over. They had the Photofusion Blue at least eight to nine months before Essilor did. And once Essilor finally brought theirs out, there's been a lot of complaints because it looks like just a dark gray blue. It's not very blue. A lot of people are saying it looks like the Transition Signature 6 lenses going back before the sevens and this is supposed to be the generation eight technology so it's a much bolder blue as you just saw and they turn faster than than that I, if you go out there if you do a comparison between zeiss photofusion blue and essilor transitions blue you'll see my other video that i did a comparative study on and you'll see how the how how much bluer the zeiss lenses are but do me a favor like this video hit the subscribe button give me the and hit the bell icon that way you get notifications of future frame and lens combinations as they become available again if there's any oakley you want go to the contact me page of the website and just tell me which model number size and color you're looking for and i'll check on price and availability for you you can follow me on facebook and instagram as free prescription lenses on twitter as free rx lenses and you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But thanks again for watching. Damien, thank you for the purchase of the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon. Pitchman is just what they call the soccer field in England. But uh, I don't know what they call the R Carbon. By the way, why are all pirate movies rated R? Oh, I know. Oh, I just had to sneak one last bad joke into that. So, the um, but again, these are the high index 167. Photofusion blue lenses with Zeiss DuraVision Blue Protect. A lot of people are having to work from home on their computers now. That Blue Protect is really nice. The other nice thing about the Zeiss Blue Protect, you don't have to get it with any of the Photofusion colors, which are gray, brown, green, and the blue you just saw. But they're clearer than Crizol Provencia lenses. Provencia has a yellowish brown color to it. I know I was an Essilor man for years. I've got it on my cleaning cloth, but I got Zeiss on top now because they just make a great product. And had they not come out with the Photofusion Blue eight to nine months before Essilor, I never would have given them a shot. So, but now I offer them, I go to them exclusively because they document everything where Essilor does not. And on the internet, it's nice to know that you are getting exactly what you asked for, or what you paid for. And so, again, thanks for your purchase. Thanks for watching. And now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.